Hello honeys, welcome back, it's me Jenny. How is all my crafty friends doing today? I have a fabulous DIY project for you. I was working on making these embellishments today for my fall pocket letters that I'm going to be mailing out. And I thought maybe you guys would want to see how I create these really beautiful, simple, gorgeous um, embellishments, okay? So, I went to Michael's this week and I came across these lovely decorative fillers. They're kind of like little gems and I just love the colors. I thought the colors were just so, 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 so beautiful. And, um, and I thought, you know what, I have to make an embellishment using these because they're just so beautiful. And so I came up, I came and I started thinking about what I wanted to do. I came home and then I came up with this. Now I'm going to show you in the end of the video how I'm going to use this or how I'm going to incorporate this embellishment in my pocket letter. Okay. So now what I'm using for this project, you guys know me. I like it simple. I don't like complications. I don't like things hard. My usual cupcake liner. The only difference is I'm using for today's project, I'm using these cupcake liners that I also got at Michael's a while ago, a few months ago. And I just love like the colors on this cupcake liner and I just thought it was so like fall inspired with like the corals and like the oranges. And I just thought it was really pretty. So I'm using these to create my embellishment. I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to create these. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this cupcake liner and I'm actually going to cut out the circle. The center of the cupcake liner is what I want to cut out. Because what I want to use is the ruffle or like the skirt. I call it a skirt. It's not really called a skirt, but that's what I call it. I want to use the little ruffle part to the cupcake liner, which is this one right here. For the circle, you can always save and use as embellishment on another project. That's always great to do with those little circles. So after you cut out the circle, you should get something like this, okay? Now we're going to also create the layering of the embellishment. I already showed you guys how to do this, but for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome! And by the way, I am so overwhelmed with the amazing response that you guys have left me with my fall series and my Halloween series. And it's just lovely, it's just great. You guys are leaving me such beautiful comments and I am so happy that you enjoy watching these videos. And I will definitely keep giving these videos to you. As long as you guys keep asking for them, I'm gonna keep giving them to you, okay? So thank you very much for the wonderful comments and for your wonderful um, response on these videos. So now I'm going to create the smaller layer. So I created this layer and I created a little one. I'm going to hot glue the little one to the medium size layer. I say medium size because it's not really that big. And you should get something like this. I have a video showing you how to create these. Um, I'll try to link that at the bottom of this video, but you can always go back on my on my um, on my channel and you can see how to create these really simple embellishments. Now that we have these complete, let's create some lovely embellishments. For this project, I'm using some fake um, leaves. Now. These leaves are from another flower that I had. I just plucked out the little leaves and I'm using them to decorate this embellishment. What I like about these leaves, they're tiny, they're small, they're easy to manipulate and they're absolutely fabulous for this project. So find yourself some small tiny leaves that you can actually incorporate in this project and that will help you 
give this look to your embellishment so now I am going to show you one of the most important part about this video is you need to get some felt you don't need a, a lot you just need a little piece of felt because from my experience not that I'm so experienced but from me making a lot of embellishments I know for a fact that these fillers will hold a hot glue and it will stay together but with the you know back and forth and the rumbling around it will eventually fall off so my suggestion and my suggestion using felt has never failed me it is one of those fantastic fabrics that I absolutely love because it's very inexpensive you can find them anywhere and they're so easy to work with so what I did was I just simply cut a little circle out of the felt that I had and the circle has to be smaller in size than your gem because we're going to hot glue this circle onto the gem by us doing that we're giving ourselves a better security in keeping our embellishments together if you want to adhere this embellishment to like let's say a gift card or let's say a tag or um a gift bag you're definitely not going to run the risk of it falling apart because the felt is very sturdy and it's going to hold together that's the reason why I'm using felt okay so I'm going to hot glue this little piece of felt onto my little gem make sure that the felt is not as big as your gem because you don't want the felt to poke out of your gem that's gonna look really ugly you want the felt to be smaller than the gem or than the filler so that it doesn't look ugly okay so you get you should get something like this let's put this baby together for your ruffle you're going to add a little tiny double-sided adhesive tape onto one side of your ruffle and then you're going to get these two together just like this you're going to combine them together and you should get like a little circle like this once you do that you're going to squish it down and you're going to kind of gather it together so that it can look like a little circle embellishment you might need to manipulate a little bit the cupcake liner don't get discouraged if you feel like your circle is not coming together how it should practice makes perfect trust me when i tell you you're gonna probably have to do this a few times before you're comfortable with the size of what your um embellishment should look like so just be patient and just play around with your cupcake liner until you get the size that you desire once you get the size that you desire you're going to use the one that we just made earlier and you're going to add some hot glue on the back of this okay hot glue little amount doesn't have to be a lot and you're going to add this to your ruffle you should get something like this see how pretty that looks i love love this embellishment I absolutely love how it looks so like doesn't this look so vintage and so beautiful I think that when I saw this complete it reminded me like a vintage wedding right isn't it like beautiful imagine this like in a vintage wedding how pretty this would be like a cupcake topper or maybe like a I don't know table number holder I don't know my imagination gets me where I shouldn't but okay once you get this going you're going to use some of your leaves I like to use three leaves but you use as many as you want if you want to use four leaves you use four leaves if you want to use six leaves it doesn't matter this is your project you choose whatever you want to do I'm going to use three leaves I like to t I tend to use my leaves in like a very I don't know this, this is a pattern that I like to use it. I like to have one in the top and then one kind of like in the side. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a little bit of hot glue to the back of this gem or filler. 
not too much just a little tab you're going to place your feather I'm sorry not feather your leaf oh feather feather will be nice to actually add to this too hmm you're gonna add your leaf how you would want it to look okay so I think I want my leaf to look something like this see that now what you're gonna do here let's add a little bit of more hot glue so that the little one can actually stay glued and that's see you should get something like this see that so now what we're going to do is once we put our leaves together and we are happy with the arrangement of the leaf you're going to put a decent amount of glue to the back of your filler now don't put too much because you don't want it to gush out but you do want a nice amount and you want to cover your felt as much as you can you're going to add this to the center of your cupcake liner and that my friend is called a beautiful simple very elegant must i say embellishment look at that how adorable this embellishment came out i just love it i just love the simple ness of it and how just elegant and beautiful it looks it's just gorgeous i love it okay so now that we have our embellishment complete i want to show you why i created these embellishments so my plan is i'm going to be sending out some pockets well fall inspired pocket letters now i started with five fall inspired pocket letters and now i went up to 13. so my number has grown and um i don't know i just can't say no i just feel bad and i love making them anyway so i i don't mind at all to create more i love making them so what i am going to do with these beautiful embellishments i'm going to add a very pretty ribbon like i did with this one and i'll show you on camera so you have an idea I'm using the very glittery orange ribbon from the Dollar Tree uh, these are the ones for Halloween but obviously it's orange and it definitely will absolutely go with um, fall because it's just beautiful colors and then what I would what I want to do is after I get my ribbon I am going to hot glue in the center of the ribbon this adorable embellishment okay now you don't have to hot glue it if you don't want to if you want your um your friend to reuse this then i suggest you not to hot glue it and maybe i don't know double side it with tape so then this way you know your, your friend can reuse it i'm going to press down to make sure that the hot glue sticks well and you should get something like this lovely gorgeous embellishment my plan is I'm going to mail out my pocket letters I'm going to obviously wrap it with tissue paper and then I'm going to use these lovely embellishments to hold my pocket letters together now these are just uh, obviously Halloween pocket letters I haven't really done any fall pocket letters yet by the way do you guys want to see a fall pocket letter if you guys want to see a process video on how i create my fall pocket letters let me know at the bottom of this video and if you guys thumbs up and you say yes then i'll probably incorporate that in my halloween not halloween my fall series video so that's what i'm going to do with these lovely gorgeous embellishments so my uh, my my pen pal will receive this lovely 
pocket letter and they're going to receive this gorgeous gorgeous embellishment that's going to hopefully keep everything together so that nothing falls off okay so that is all i wanted to show you guys i was actually working on the these and i figured let me just show you guys a video on how i create these because i know that you guys like to see different different embellishments and i thought that it would be fun to show you so yeah I can't wait to finish my fall pocket letter. I'm working so hard and I am doing so many embellishments and I just can't wait. I can't wait. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know at the bottom of this video if you guys love this idea. Make sure you thumbs up. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your fantastic comments. Like I said to you earlier, I am super, super overwhelmed with how much love you guys have given me. And I thank you very much for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and I will see you on my next DIY project. I might do a tag fall video next so we'll see all right honeys um have a fantastic weekend i hope everybody's safe and i will see you guys in my next video okay bye loves